three boys sat in a playground, discussing what their parents did for a living. The first boy said, my father is a doctor. He writes a few words on a piece of paper. He calls it a prescription, and they give him 50 euros. <laughs> the next boy says, my dad is a judge. He writes a few words on a piece of paper. He calls it a ruling. They give him 100 euros. The third boy says, that's nothing. My dad's a preacher. He writes a few words on a piece of paper. He calls it a sermon. It takes three guys to play for money. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, money, the root of all evil. That's your first misquote from the day, but I'll come back to that. I have here a mint condition 20 euro note. It has a value of 20 euros. If I ramp it up, and open it back out, despite the wrinkles and the damage, it still has a value of 20 euros. I can tear the note, and it still has a value of 20 euros. No matter what I do to this, as long as it is vaguely legible, it still has a value of 20 euros. And it's the same with you guys. God has decided your value. Although, before I move on, just let me point out when the bag comes later on, all forms of fiat currency are acceptable. <laughs> God has decided that you're to die for. Now, when man says that, that's a figure of speech. When God says it, he means it literally. He died for you. But who does he die for? I haven't checked. It's made out on the back of heaven to the value of eternal life. And it's payable to whomsoever believes. Let me say that to get again. Whomsoever. The Bible can be cherry picked and misquoted to exclude root groups of people. Has been done since it was written. The misquote I made earlier, money is the root of all evil, has been used to demonize wealthy people. But the quote isn't money is the root of all evil. The quote is the love of money is the root of all evil. That is to say greed. And believe me, if there is one thing I've learned from my 23 years on this planet, <laughs> is that greed really is the root of all evil. That means I pay the life of your age. I can show you pick some first Timothy. I do not permit a woman to teach or exercise authority over man. Rather, she should remain quiet. Jenny, how dare you speak in the presence of men? Get back in the kitchen where you belong. In 1946, when the Revised Standard Edition was written, two Greek words, which I'm about to butcher terribly, malakoi and senakoitai, were intentionally translated to mean homosexual. There was no reference to homosexuality in the Bible before this. But Senakoitai is correctly translated to child molester. This is what you find in the Leviticus passage that people have to quote. You can make of that what you will. So, what is the point of this? Why am I telling you this? Simply put, everybody gets saved. Some may try and twist the word of God to exclude so groups, as I have just done with women. Um, they don't get to choose. Your value is defined. God has said so. It doesn't change. No matter how damaged you are, no matter what you've done, your value doesn't change. Everybody gets saved and saved from everything. Not the little bit, but all of it. And anybody who asks. I picked up this one because my notes said not see it. But there is a rather nice 
um, reading the last verse of this particular passage. Because if we acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, recognizing his power and authority and majesty as God, and believe in your heart that he has raised him from the dead, you are saved. So what's the takeaway? You are Christians. Your job is to display the likeness of Christ. Jesus turned no one away. A woman with an issue of blood, unclean in her time, healed. The Sumerian woman at the well, someone a Jew would never speak to, sent forth to preach the gospel. Yes, that's you, Oliver, Jenny. <laughs> Jesus went about amongst lepers. No one was beneath him to preach and save everybody. As I'm fond of saying, you are the only Bible some people will ever read. So take that Bible to everybody. You do not get to choose who gets saved. One more time for the people in the back. You do not get to choose who gets saved. So, my brothers, sisters, non-binary siblings, spread the good news and use words if you must. <laughs>